Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to before hold on. Make sure I'm set up. Before I start getting into my things um, and getting busy with the kids, I just wanted to open up the vlog. So there's that. I am in the middle of trying to figure out what I'm doing today. Like in what order I'm gonna do the things that I need. But that I need to do. I know I'm gonna make dinner and I took out some um some lamb chops. So we'll have some lamb chops for dinner. And I think I'm gonna make it with some pasta, like ravioli, a lobster ravioli pasta I like that together, and some asparagus. So that'll be dinner. I'm about to clean these strawberries all so I can make myself a smoothie, and that will be breakfast. I actually already had Cheerios, but I'm still hungry. So I'm gonna make a daiquiri. I made a smoothie for myself, not a daiquiri. Um, yeah, I did want to give y'all, if y'all can see in the background, a little home update. So yesterday we got the pop filler put in and I love it. So let me show y'all. So this is the pop filler. Let me maybe let me put a pot up so y'all can see how it works. Let's do that. Hold on. Well, I'll grab a pot in a minute. One second. Actually, I'll grab a pot and I'll be right back. All right. So I grabbed a little pot and that works out perfectly because I'm actually about to make like a steam pot. We made we made um, seafood yesterday in the house. It smells like seafood. So I'm just gonna make a steam pot with like some rosemary and vanilla stuff like that whatever so the pot filler this is how it works let me see just turn it on here and then turn it on here and i absolutely love it look at that let me zoom in yes so that's cool um yeah that's that absolutely love that but let me see pop filler love it love it love it love it love it live it and when we was like designing the kitchen i wasn't like that wasn't on my must-have list i wasn't like oh my gosh before we do anything i must have a pop filler no i really didn't care about it but in the midst of designing the kitchen it came up and it was just like i mean i guess it's a nice to have right it's a nice to have, so we just want, let me, I'm trying to get this situated, hold on. All right, so the pop filler thing was just like a nice to have, so we just went with it and like, okay, if we don't want it, want to use it, just don't use it, but it's also nice to have it there, right? So I used it yesterday and I just was feeling real luxurious. I was feeling like, oh, this is nice. It's really nice. Can I um, just pick up my pot and fill it up at, at the sink? Carry it over to the stove? Absolutely. I sure can. Um, do I enjoy having the pop filler there so that I don't have to do that? Absolutely. So I'm just going to, I don't know. I like it. Um, so if it's one of those things that like y'all are renovating and it's an option, I definitely would install it. I don't see like the con. At the end of the day, you still gotta carry your pop from the stove. That was my whole thing. Like when I said I didn't really need one cause I was like, I didn't, it didn't make sense to me. Like it's a pot filler to fill up the pot, but you still gotta carry, pick up the pot and carry it to empty it. So it was like whatever. But I can say it's nice when you like, you know, you're cooking something and you just need like a tad bit, a little bit more water. You can just use the pot filler or whatever. So am I happy that I have it? Absolutely. So that's that. That's the home update. Um. So we just went. Oh yeah, I think last time this range thing here. It was like unfinished we just went and, and painted it white for now 
Um, I think I did decide on finishing it with like a plaster look. So I'm going to get the plaster ordered. Still trying to decide on the exact color, but get the plaster look. I mean, get the plaster ordered and then we'll plaster this range hood right here. And then we're also gonna plaster the other side of the island. So that'll be coming up eventually. But, excuse me. But yeah, that's the home update for right now. Um, what else did I wanna come on here and tell y'all? Oh, let me show y'all some of the things that I got from Ikea for the kitchen. I guess I could do like a whole haul. I got some things from Hobby Lobby. Let me back y'all up. Got some things from Hobby Lobby, Ikea. I'm still, I went to the container store and it's like they had some things, but nothing like, they have the same things to me as like Home Goods and like Amazon. And their price is a little bit, they, they're, they're a little pricier. So I probably won't buy it from a um, container store, but it was nice going there, nice going there to get like some um, some inspiration. So this is not even for the kitchen. I got this from Ikea, just a vase. I don't know if you guys can see it, hopefully. Yeah, it's just a regular little vase. I just need some for flowers to put them around the house. Like I said, that's not for the kitchen. Chopsticks, because we love sushi. So I just picked up some chopsticks from Ikea. We already have some, but this is like a black pair. I think I'm gonna go with like wood and black in the kitchen. So yeah, I have to get dots. And then my whole, like the whole reason for going to Ikea is I wanted to get some things for storage. Once like we cook dinner, we have leftovers. I don't want the pots going in the refrigerator. I don't want it to be on plates. Like sometimes my kids, like they'll wrap their plate up and put it in the fridge. That ends up being a mess, like no. So I just wanted to have things to store. This is just, just in case I need it. They're, they're kind of small. So if I make like a, a sauce or something, have a little leftover, kind of can put it in here. That works for that. This is, what is it, a four pack? No, three pack of like just Tupperware, pretty much. Tupperware here with the lids. And I love that you can see through it. This is plastic. I wanted to go and get like a bunch of glass, but with the kids and stuff, I don't want to have, you know, all glass stuff and they break it but i did get some glass so we have these and i have the lids to go with these i think i bought yeah wood lids for these this is a nice size i don't know what size they are but they're fairly it's six by 41 ounce so 41 ounce six by six by four so yeah this is a good size got two of these in glass with the tops with the lid, like with the wood lid. So that'll go like that. I don't really like that. That'd be, you know, can store things in a fridge and it can, it can look ooh, nice. Stored away, that's the top for that one. Another vase, I got two of those. And then, some more storage. This is the larger one. With and I went with I bought lit like wood lids to go with these. But with this one, I also got um also picked up oh, the plastic lids. So just kind of depends on how I feel, how I want to put this stuff away. Whether I'm gonna use a wood, a wood lid or a plastic one. But I wanted to have the option. So I got both of those. And I bought two of those. And then I just bought like they come with a pack. This is all plastic. But it comes with. It comes with this size. One of these. Um, two of like the smaller ones. And then one of the larger ones. I don't have it with me right now. But yeah, this is just a plastic one. So, comes with this. 
Maybe I should go this way so you can see. Yep. So I got that. And then every time I go to Ikea, I just get like some tea light candles. Because why not? They are a must have. And then I bought some other things. Let me see. Let me see. Let me go grab them. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So I just turned the camera around. Let me turn on the light. It's a little dark. All right. So my cabinets are a mess right now. That's why I'm gathering all this storage stuff, right? So um, I just threw it in my cabinet for now, just until I get to the, the phase where I'm going to put everything away in its um, like respected place. But <clears throat> I'm gonna just grab it from out of here because that's why I've been storing it right now. But I did want to show y'all the other IKEA thing that I got. This is just what size is this? Twelve three quart. It's twelve by eight. So this is like a twelve inch long one. Also, just to like store things away. I could even like bake something in here and then you know put the top on it to put away so that works perfectly that's that oh shoot all right this is for the refrigerator this storage thing this is so i can like store the sodas i don't know what it, what is it called a beverage organizer or something so you just sit it in your refrigerator and it looks like this like i'm gonna probably put it on the top row so we can get to the juices and things, some water, but that's what this is. And I got this from Home Goods, I think. Home Goods for $16.99. So that was that. And then I have this like um, bag organizer, so I can put like the sandwich bags away and the gallon bags and all those things. Um, so I love this. I want to get another. I'm still looking for another one, so I can put like the aluminum foil away. But this is just like for Ziploc bags and things like that. But I like this. I will say the container store had um, like an all black one that I really like. I just was hesitant to get it because I'm like the black is probably going to scratch up. And like, you know, you'll be able to notice on the black. So I just went with this wood when I felt like it was a safer bet. And this was, where I think it's $12.99 from Home Goods. $12.99 home goods and then I didn't from home goods I also got this this is not storage this is just like a drying mat when I'm cleaning the dishes just so I can place them you know next to the the sink and then dry them and put them away for those days that I don't use the dishwasher honestly I haven't been using the dishwasher that's like my husband's favorite thing but I think I've been I grew up washing dishes so I'm so used to washing dishes. I don't even remember that I have a dishwasher, honestly, half the time. So I have to get in the habit of using that. But most of the time we don't have that many dishes to even run the dishwasher as of right now. Um, we haven't been doing any like real, real heavy cooking. So the drying mat works would work best for me at this moment. But on Amazon, I ordered, I told you I was gonna order like one of those what is it called? Like a calendar, the acrylic calendar that goes on the refrigerator. So that's what I have here. I didn't open this yet. Is it supposed to be two of them? I guess it is. Oh, they're sticking together. All right, so this is like the smaller boxes here. And I'm planning on, I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do it, but I think on this one, I'm gonna write like, the food like what we're going to eat every day so i can plan the meals it'll come on it'll be on here and i'll just sit it right on the refrigerator that looks good and then this larger one is like the weekly planner hmm yeah i think i'm going to put like the kids activities and like maybe their chores if it's enough room like the chores that they need to complete that day I think I'm going to do that. I'm still trying to work out the kinks. But I know I'm going to put the food on that one. Because it's, like, it's just smaller cubes. So I just put the dinner, what we're having. On this one, definitely activities. And I think I'm going to put their chores too. So that there's no confusion. You can come up right over to the refrigerator and see what needs to be done that day and get it done. 
I was thinking it would be nice to have one for each child, but I'm like, that may be excessive. Like, do I really need to do that? They can come down here and look at it. But I, I think I would like for, for them to like have it in their room. But then that means I have to write it out four or five different times. No, I'm not doing that. It would be on the refrigerator. So that's that. And I'm actually gonna take this. I'll leave it here for now, but I'm gonna take it down until I actually fill it out. Just place that here. All right, now let's get to this mess of a pantry. So this is the pantry for right now. Um, I, we literally just like throw stuff in here because there's no, there's no rhyme or reason right now. <laughs> but this is what I got. I just thought these were cute. Like I've seen these like months and months ago, maybe even a year ago, I don't know. But I waited until the kitchen was done to purchase them, but I love them. I think they're super cute, cute, cute. But I'm just gonna put like Kool-Aid in here, really. Like Kool-Aid, water with like lime or lemon, bait, like just infused water, like whatever. And I initially I bought one from Marshalls and this one was $12.99 from Marshalls, as y'all can, can y'all see? Where is it at? Can y'all see? $12.99 from Marshalls, right? And then I went to Hobby Lobby like another day and they had the same exact one. Yep, same exact one, same brand for $9.99. I was gonna take it back to Marshalls, but I didn't. I mean, I should, right, and get my $3, get my $2.99. We'll see, but I like that. Um, these are just like some liners to line the, the cabinets with, the cabinets with. And this one with clear, because I really don't want to be able to see it. I didn't want like any design or anything like that. I just want something that protects the um, cabinets from any like spills or any, you know, anything. I got three of these. What are these called? Let me give you all the right name. This is a rotating craft caddy. Um, this was like in the craft area at Hobby Lobby, but I'm going to use it in my kitchen. Just going to put like whatever it is that I want. Probably, um, some, what is it called? Like cans that's, that are up in the cabinets. But, you know, sometimes when you put them behind each other, you can't see everything. So I'm gonna place them in here so that I can spin and see what we have. Um, yeah, so when I'm playing in my meals, I can go to the cabinets, see what's in there, see what I still need, and do all those things. I bought, I bought three of those. And these are like nine inches, nine inches wide, three and a half inches high. So, just to give y'all some, dimension some frame of reference yep same thing i got this one. Oh yeah this was 4.99 from hobby lobby i got this one from it's the same thing it's the same height and this was 7.99 from marshall's i went to marshall's first so that's why i purchased these but you know what and the, the receipt is right here because that's 7.99 that's three dollars there three dollars there that's six dollars i can buy a whole nother one right i may take it back and just i don't know but by the time i drive over there and then drive to hobby lobby to get it for cheaper it's gas money and my time so now that i know better i'll just do better i probably won't take it back but there's that then i bought two of these for the fridge and like, like they have it here, it's like, you know, for fruits and vegetables. Once I wash, wash the fruits off, I can place them in here. They're, they're, it is like in compartments, it's like three compartments. I don't know if you can see. They don't have a picture on here. They do a little bit. But yeah, it's like three compartments. So I'll, put, I'll rinse the fruit off and I'll put some here in the middle and then here. So that when the kids are, um, you know, they want a little snack, they can just pull this out get their fruit and go. It's already ready. And I want to have that more so in the refrigerator when I set it up eye level so that like the first thing they see is like the fruits and the vegetables and stuff instead of the snacks that they want to eat. But yeah, like other snacks that they want to eat, unhealthy snacks. So I bought two of those and this was $7.99 from Hobby Lobby. I saw these at Marshalls too, but like everything, the same brand and everything, everything was like a few dollars cheaper. I mean more, but when I was at Marshalls, I didn't buy it. So I'm glad I held off on those and I got it from Hobby Lobby. 
All right. I also got this from Hobby Lobby, $7.99. And um, probably could put like salad in here or same thing, like fruits and stuff. But I'll probably end up putting like a salad in here. It just has like that tray that you can kind of like drain things at the bottom. Yeah, like that. Sit that there. And then I bought these also. I bought how many of these? Three. Also, just to put inside of the cabinets once we organize them. Just these kind of bins here. I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to put it in the cabinets or like under the sink. But I think I'm going to put these in the cabinets. I'm going to purchase something else for under the sink. I want under the sink, I want something that has like drawers so I can store like the um the pods. What are they called the pods for the dishwasher things pods i think those like the cleaning products that we use in the kitchen often like stuff to wipe down the refrigerator the bleach the oil not oil oil too really but that's not going to go under the thing but bleach and um vinegar like those things that are in the refrigerator in the refrigerator in the kitchen that i don't want that i want access to at the um sink so yeah i think that's Pretty much, did I get anything else? Oh, my husband purchased some things. I'm not quite sure. He purchased, okay. He got some of these things like for cereal and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm gonna use these. I mean, we might use them temporarily, but I wanted to get something, first of all, something a little bit larger, but also, I don't know. They're okay for now. We might use these. And then this, just storage, more storage stuff. Our whole thing is we want to have, we want to be able to store, um, we want everything to have a, a place. So just buying a bunch of storage things so that everything can be put away neatly. And yeah, there's that. So that's the like kitchen haul for right now of the things that I purchased. I still need uh, a lot. I still have to get some things and I kind of just want to do it in one big swoop. But what I'm thinking is I may even do it like next week and just go with what I had for now and clean these things and then start putting this stuff away. Um, my mouth is so dry. I'm so dry. Start putting the things away and so I can see exactly what I still need. So I may even do it that way. But for right now, I'm going to put this, I'm going to throw this stuff back where it was at and then make my smoothie. Okay. So I'll pick y'all up. A little bit later if um i'll probably show y'all later like once dinner is done like just give y'all a little a little a little clip of that if i can i'll show y'all when i'm cooking but the baby sleep right now by the time i'm cooking she's going to be up so i may not be able to you know maneuver everything but yeah i just wanted to give y'all a little update and tell y'all what was going on on the home front i think that's it i think that's it for the home updates and the halls and things but yeah i will talk to y'all later i'll pick you up later peace out <clears throat> yeah i forgot as i'm putting this stuff away i forgot to tell y'all so i initially wanted these for like when the kids were doing activities but honestly it's summertime now so i'm trying to cut up like my daughter has a little like two more weeks of activities but other than that she's done um the other kids are done so i'm actually really excited to get a break from running the kids all over so <clears throat> i'm gonna use this for definitely for their chores throughout the summer i'm coming up with a, a summer routine because what they're not going to do is be up all night on the tablets playing the games and sleeping in until three and four o'clock in the evening um there's nothing wrong with that but they they need to do they need to do some other things there's nothing wrong with that for the summer so i may allow them to do it here and there but like i want them to have a different like a, a solid routine so on here, I'm going to have their chores that they need to do daily, um, their reading activities, their, you know, like whatever enrichment, like we have, I, I, I plan for that day. That's what they're going to do. Clean up their rooms and whatever other chores and then do their, oh, oh, we try, I'm trying to get everybody, well, we're trying to get everybody like physically fit too, because not only am I out of shape, this whole household is pretty much out of shape. So we're gonna have like a physical activity to do every day. So all that stuff will be on that calendar. So 
So, you know, you kind of know which way your day is about to go. You can wake up, have breakfast, check out the calendar, see what you got to do. Um, and I'm hoping that I can make like smoothies for them like three to four times a day, not a day, three to four times a week throughout the summer. So that can be like substitute one of the those breakfast, one of those one of the meals. So we'll either do it for like breakfast or lunch. But yeah, all that will be on the calendar so everybody knows what we're doing and how the days are going to flow. Um, I found that not having that calendar out for everybody to see everybody's coming up with their own plan they kind of like we kind of know what we're doing today but it's still everybody is tackling things in their own way which is fine but we need to have a little bit more order with it being so many people in this household so yeah i'm looking forward to it i will let y'all know how it works because i know people are always looking for like um different ways to like get organized right so I'll let y'all know if it works for us. I'm trying to put this stuff back. This wasn't here, that's why it's not fitting. <sighs> I know, and don't judge. This thing is a mess. But we are getting it together, slowly but surely. Very slowly but surely. I don't even know where this stuff was at. All right, I'll pick y'all up later.
I have different cupcake um, holders. Oh, I like some little cupcakes. <laughs> so we'll see. Mm, it's deeper than a regular cupcake, I'll say that. Definitely. Let me fill up the cupcakes first. Can I the bowl? Let me fill up the cupcakes first. Okay. Can I the bowl, Mommy? I'm gonna share. Huh? I'm gonna share. Just wait a second. Okay, party people. So the food is done. These are the asparagus. And then we have, oh, that's just the steam pump. We have the lobster ravioli. That's completed here. And then we have the lamb chops. We are ready to eat. Go ahead, Lawrence. And Lawrence is ready for dessert already. He's ready for the cupcakes. I made some cupcakes. Yeah, you got you got mm -hmm. this one. And, and you got on. and you got this one. Yeah, so we'll put the icing on those and then we will be I don't like I don't like icing on